Let's make today's class. Oh, we have a room for today about finding a discipline to keep our spirals and give our turnout awareness, even on the tricky syncopated combination, even in the places where we changing direction or we going up on your toe or our toes, something where the movement of, uh, of our routine, um, giving us a little hard time to, to keep our foot in a, in a perfect alignment, somewhere we uh, pivoting actively and, and the free leg sometimes tend to go into the same direction. We, we, we turned a bunch of times about the importance of this consistency throughout the movement. And uh, I know some of the exercises we can just think of is, uh, let's say, a road day or like some kind of passe when you know that you're not giving up the uh, desire to have a nice discipline in your spiral, but the leg, let's say, can go out and can go passe and can go back. So through the different angles between the knee and the hip, and maybe sometimes the different angle between the knee and the, and the ankle, when we can give plie and relevant, we still know that the discipline is there. Will it be a standing leg? The, the moment when we stay on it or passing through, will it be the moment of some presentation and rotating and passing? We still have to maintain this awareness. So let's, let's, uh, go with our combination today. Uh, there will be some challenges and we'll handle them by the end of the class. Everybody will be super. Let's try that. It's, it's almost ready, but might take me just a few moments. And forward and back. Think of it to Paracha. Two, three, diagonal step four. Delay like a sliding door. Stepping forward, and we did with your similar element the previous class, but we'll go up on our toes, finding uh, a sealed line between our thighs, and then syncopated change to the forward step. Into Kukaracha, uh, stepping out, uh, spot turn, and syncopated change. Four, one, two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. Ready? So, more crazy, two and three. Back step, sink away to Kubaracha, two, three diagonal step, delay like a sliding door, pass, two toes together. So, you see that I'm taking a moment to squeeze my thighs as much as I can, and then change to step over your right, Kubaracha sideways, step, same diagonal. Before, turn to the left, change, and sink a bridge. Four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One and two, three and four. Two, three, four, one. <laughs> ready, ready. Uh, forward and back. Single frame change and diagonal. Here, let's make it would be much of a delay. So, for one, we will do and two, we want to step over actually. Two to have a moment of 
three and four, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one. Collecting our ties, going to the roll and uh, And I will challenge you with a double smile. I know some of your floors are not ideal, but we'll get there. Yes? <laughs> you did it before, yeah? Never? Oh, so today will be first time. Congratulations. Up. Let's just do a few that. Forward, two, three, back. Syncopate and change diagonal. Step across, spiral, same direction, pull karate, three, four, spot turn with a change of the leg in between, rounding, and then as we're stepping, we'll practice how we'll approach the double spiral. We'll be keeping our feet on the floor, blah, 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 rounding. So you're stepping over your right, a left foot turn. And then you will be going as far as you can through the turn while keep keeping pressure on your right foot. And this will be the pressure which you will activate at your maximum right by the end of this, let's say, calculated period. So the first half turn, where we still can totally calculate the weight placement, the alignment, connection of the back leg, and then you will get yourself into this thing. And you'll get there full on collecting and pushing. So how many does it work? Three and a half. Three and a half, okay. So here, let's say a few things. You don't want your standing leg to fall down because your heel will be breaking and wouldn't allow you to continue. So you want to have at least some distance between your heel and the floor. And then when you get in there, you will think that as your back leg helping you to push, but the front leg give your center even extra uh, height. And this is something what will carry you through. A, a, a bigger amount of rotation. Oh, and do you wind up the other way first? Or do you always in the same uh, Your arms. It's, it's, um, um, I think the wind up, like we used to think about, I know, we, I'm winding up to hit. It's not much applicable here. So there are some movement in the inside. Let's say the moment I'm, I'm in my own day, and the moment I'm placing my step, this is where I can say I do the wind up. So against the base, I'm turning my torso just a little bit to the left, but then it's more of a wind up. It's a calculated version of the unwind, and then the explosive version. So winding up is tiny, is tiny and done when the foot is placing. And from here you go through unwind. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Don't, don't, let's don't kill each other before we actually <laughs> start the class. Yeah. So let's go through all the tricky places where your powerful standing leg action might compromise the accuracy and the special attention to your placement. So here, you want to start with a powerful rotation in your hip. And not, nobody prevents you from taking all the time for this preparation and up. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. And this is what I want you to to have all your attention to the free leg that it's passing and not giving up its intention to stay turn out 
uh, upon your forward push. Four and one and two. And maybe what's what's a little digging deeper? The intention of your standing leg. I, I see all of you starting with a very good one. How it is preserved upon uh, pushing. So when your standing Achilles is shortening to send you off, are you still actively spiraling in your belly, in your hip, when you pushing from your foot? Is it still there? Yes. Yes, this is better. Jim, Suzanne, I, I see a better picture of your back ankle. When, when you're about to depart, how this, including your calf and including your ankle, and give you a different, a different look. Let's, let's see another thing. Generally, I would say like this ball of the foot is there, but you want to give it a little extra thing. So you're rolling all the way to the ball of the foot. Now, when you're bending and when you go through the bending, can you still be aware of this area outside ankle to maintain your um, contraction outside, not to let your foot pigeon toe, but stay turned out? Yes. So if I'll go diagonal to, it still can be done with the toes further away, the ankle pressing a little bit in before rolling on it. Mm -hmm. Let's start. Let's start with the check. Stand your leg. Active spiral all the way through and in. And as we depart, it's still there as strong. The spiral including the heel and calf. And then as we're pressing, we might have this beautiful articulation of the back. So there is a certain give up on the right spiral we will be checking. So as you're placing, you want to feel like somebody pulling the inner thigh back because now it's a time for your left leg to dominate. And now it's time for you to develop all what's available in your right leg again before you're placing back. Ready to get. Four and one and two and three and four. And this is the next one. When we're getting ready to our syncopation, how super quick action is not compromising your foot. I'm, I'm, if I'll come closer to the camera, you see I'm, I'm pressing into the slightly cross position. But you will still see the line from my ankle, uh, from my toes to my ankle, a little inward curve. And this is the way I will be going out. The moment when my side uh, thigh will be active to move my leg, I will not be giving up this uh, muscles work. And I wouldn't be giving up the spiral on my steady leg. So this is a tricky one. When we continue spiral on the right, but opening the left leg out. And when it's happening simultaneously, you entering your left leg with a beautiful sense of spiral within your body. And then it can be articulated way more than usual. So let's get again, staying on your left and doing our development for the pendulum and spiral thinking of the outside spiral with the right leg and active contraction on the side. So I'll just give me a second. Yes, yes. So here are the muscles which can do this to you. Yeah, like this. I will be asking you to do this. I wish you could do Yes. Working here. Yeah, ready, collecting. Four and one, and change. Three and uh, what's next? Stepping across. So let's see how at this point 
we're toning our leg enough for the ankle area to join a further development of my spiral. That you would feel that inside area of your heel, so this is a map of your foot, so this area would be pressing right into the like center of your body, the sitting bone and coccyx. So this will be the, the line heel pressing right into the center of your body, into your spine. Yes. Let's go from beginning. Yeah. Ready? Two, three, spiral collection, placement, spiral behind and going back. Keep, keep, keep collecting, change. Two, placing without giving up, right spiral, three, and pivoting and pushing together, pushing our heel right into our coccyx. One more time, please. Two and three and four and one. Two and three and four. One, I did something wrong, I'm sorry. This, which leg was? I think you just started for one. Ah. Two, yes, 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 thank you. And four and one and two. And three and four spirals and two, three, four, one, two. So this is the one which we will add, uh, address more specifically. Here I have a strong momentum, so I'm turning 90 degree. And uh, at the moment when I'm pivoting and when I'm doing it, not gradually, but like sharp, intense, um, concentrated. It is tricky, and then I'm going right into the step. So it's change direction into the step. This is tricky how the free leg can preserve its discipline and land without this. So if I see the heel, if I will see the heel in the screen, then you're doing not enough. So think that you're dancing, if you're talking directions, camera. So my step diagonal goes 45 degree and you don't see my heel. You don't see my heel neither when I'm moving, neither when I'm placing. So placing is the most important part. And now I'll do the same and yes, I'm very active in turning my hip, but when I will be placing my foot, I don't want you to see my heel and I don't want to see your heels. You can do it. I still see some heels. Yes. Ready. And diagonal. I can see it here, but then you want to hide it from me when you're placing. So you lay, that's good. That's good. And ready to get there and let's check. A foot from the toes to the ball of the foot, heel is still on the floor, off the floor, sorry, heel of the floor. And get yourself over with your weight and get back. Get yourself over with your weight and get back. So sustain your spiral and sustain the discipline upon weight arrival. And I keep falling because I'm looking at the screen. And yes, getting there without showing me your heel, without showing yourself things, more pressing the heel forward, the inside area of your heel and ankle forward. So they're not seen, they're not here. Yep, good. And if you get there, this would be a beautiful beginning to accommodate your spiral. Yes, and let's see how we can all stay on the ball of the foot with the closed thighs, no gap, all the way down, belly in, nice, change of weight, and step forward. Um, Do 
when you aiming for extra presentation of your leg search for solution a little bit higher inside your body so it's not that i'm just looking down and trying to do this i every time i'm aiming for a better position i'm, I'm going deeper inside i'm thinking of the hip structure and i'm thinking that this uh, rotators where the hip joints are inserted that they can be altered by using our glutes by using our sores to pull the hip bones further into my uh, rib area and and around so this is what i will be thinking of approaching a better spiral the area uh, under my belly and higher to diaphragm, this is where my spirals are originating, where your legs would look longer and it will look like they're growing uh, very high from your back or into your back. Yeah? So let's do Bukaracha step spiral. And two and three and four and one and two, three and four. And mix a little bit. No, not the first line, we'll go right into the step. One more time. And two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Yeah, and if we go into press line, it's a little bit easy. But here we need to go right into the step and be on time. Whoop. Yes, Deborah, I see your heel, front heel, and I'm not happy about it. Hide your front heel from me. Yes. Ah, that's it. Ready. Keep rock. I'll, I'll do it. Like a three, so yes, yes, absolutely. So, take a minute to Karancha and two and three and four. One and two, three and four. Two, three, four. One, two, three and four. Yes, what do you want? I think. Oh, um, yeah, let's do from Kukaracha again. Uh, Wendy, if you don't mind, just put your camera a little lower. I only see your knees and, and up, but we, we're a little more focused on that. That's good. Thank you. Ready, from Kukaracha, please. Four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Yes, 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 not bad. You okay? And you're watching me and it does make you think. Okay. So, yeah, one, I'm confused by everything. And four, one, two, and three, and four. One and two, three, and four. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's just give it a, a, a tiny a tiny practice we'll stay with you parallel on two toe i like we'll go up on two toes we'll work our core and glute to do the spirals and we'll go forward stay 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 back stay 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 land and land up stay 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 spiral stay 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 front stay 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 back stay 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 with the front passe stay stay back passe stay stay da 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 change the legs da -da. other leg in front parallel uh, like Two feet distance. I think it's three feet is all right. Something not too not too wide. Ready. Up, stay, stay, stay. Heels inside, stay, stay. Front leg, stay, stay, stay. Back, stay, stay, stay. Front, passe, stay, stay. Back, passe, stay, stay. Place parallel length. Let's just do a few times. Place, like up, in, 
out, left, up, in, out, left, up, in, out, left. And let's do a landing on the, on the turn out. So up, in, left, up, out, left, up, in, left, up, out, left. If you have a little doubt, are you doing right or wrong? You might do something like and, and like when you're starting right next to the cord, and then when you go up and you lay the, your heels on the opposite side, like and da 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 da, so that you don't you don't cheat on this. Yes, something like this up and here and here and here and here and up staying on the front passe and now keep the turn out when you go to the back keep the turn out on the front when you're about to bring it to passe think of turn out place it on the floor think of the turn out hop hop And you know what? A little trick just for you. We do this whole combo once without placing a single heel on the floor. It's exercise. It's exercise. So you go through the toes. You still can bend the knees and you still can have some hip compression. You just don't land your heel on the floor. might sound a little weird, but it's a very good exercise. Trust me here. I will do it with you, of course. So it means when you're starting here, we go up on the ball of the foot and we do spiral, stepping on two toes, do a little check, go all of the foot, passing, going all of the foot, Syncopated chain, walk on two toes. In a thigh, exactly two, three, stepping on the toes, yes. And now two toes, balance, two toes. Ukaracha, two, three, stepping on two toes. Doing spotter, two toes, two toes. Aha, sitting on the one toe. Doing the wrong day, and then double spiral in whatever we're doing. And I'm not asking you to do on the, on the point, but in a ah, where's my face? Do you feel the challenge of stability and alignment? Good. Good. Um, let's just go a little faster. Uh, and but look, don't kill yourself. If you feel that you can handle falling, just do a little, a little adjustment. So never fight uh, your disbalance with stiffening. Always fight. Search for solution in in a little mobile uh, losing. And letting the body parts be like an octopus and stabilize yourself. You feel fun to do it? Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. Great. And ladies, everyone who's wearing high heels, uh, all appreciation, they're all admiration. Like Jennifer here, probably with a two inch heel, and, and she's doing it, and like practice shoes. Still good, but if you can do it on the high heels, then just respect to you. Great. Picking up and two and three and back step and two, three, forward and two, spiral step and two, three, across, spot turn up, slip. Collecting, collecting, rotate. Two, double spiral, on 
Okay. Take a moment, and I would like to see how it looks. A bony, if you can just do it a couple steps away, so I'll see right up to your ankle. Yes, thank you. This is a better position. Yeah. You practice. <laughs> and uh, ready. Heel up. Standing heel up. Thank you. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four one and two and three and four okay not bad not bad i i like the effort ah so debbie yes every time you're about to land beautifully there is always a little give up on your on your on your ankle so be sure that this thing in your leg is going all the way all the way until landing yeah that's better yeah it's not enough when you step across it's not enough you didn't do it but then it was still this shape and uh, no no you didn't do it again i talk about your right leg when you're placing it in front on count two it's a straight leg right away straight leg uh, no don't let me see a heel no heel further in yes <laughs> i know i know yes uh good since then he was all always good when he did the last spot turn change and think of it change don't fall back it was a little moment when you gave up yeah and uh, let's see that we still can have a little moment of settling and even we activate our ankles to support us it's not stopping us from doing some hip action and he broke and nice passe in your hand good ready and standing you up four and one and two and three and four 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 one, two, three, and four. Okay, continue. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, Marco, well done. For you, you can just be a little more sensitive to how you aligning relevant with your diaphragm area. So, when it goes up, you feel more density rather than more. Produce. Safe inside and very careful to place your diaphragm area right above the following step. So you feel that this support goes right into this uh, combustion. 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 Yes. Combustion. Combustion. Yes. So, Jen. There was not enough effort of keeping your big toe out, but keeping your stride in. So every time when you, every time when you're moving your thigh, you're pulling it in. There, there is a, a way to just activate this muscle a little bit. So pull your thigh in. No, bend the knee. So bend the knee and pull your thigh in. Yes, you can have, move it in. But keep working here, yes, to a very strong leg, and you can just can you pull your knee even more inside, yes, pulling, yes, but having this thing. And now you feel this is beautiful. Keep it when you go forward. Yes, two, three. Now come back when you go back. You do the same. In, 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 in. Bend the knee. Bend it. Of course, bend. Yes. One more time. You can bend the knee. Bend it now in, 
and out here. So go, keep working just a little more this way. Yes, every step. Yeah. Uh, not turning, you see I'm pulling, but I'm still keeping here, yes. So it's a little, like a little breaking effort around your knee. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I know, a little tired. One time, one time on your on your toes, and then we'll get back to the normal. You feel, oh, what a what a joy, what an easement. Uh. Ready. I see all the ankles. I like it. Have you heard the Marco comment for Marco? Aware to your diaphragm area. So any elevation goes like a plug into your soft area of diaphragm, and this. Combustion, 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 combustion is happening. Yes, ready. And up, four and one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, one and, four, one and hip, rock. Very nice, step across. Yeah, your ball of the foot. Yes, so then you can do it too. Three, ay, 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 same place. I give you my personal attention. So step uh, like to your balcony on the toe when you do the last spot turn. Two, uh, ball of the foot, ball of the foot. The, the spot turn when we did our uh, April and we did second time. And I will go for turn to hip, ball of the foot. And when you're turning, keep it up, keep your heel up. Do the next half turn, heel stay up. And now change. Ay, 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 ay. You see where you're falling? So during this half turn, be sure that your belly is in, glute is active, pull up, and you stay very alert for your last syncopated change. Uh huh. So let's do our last uh, hip roll. Regular one, two, three, seven, four. So back leg delivering us over. Now we pivoting and uh, okay. Let's let's all face me for a moment. So it will be staying on the ball of the foot, but we'll try to get deeper. Um, let's go like this. We'll try to insert our hip bone deeper into our stomach area. So, so we will not really insert anything, we'll just land our torso softer into the, like allowing the pelvic tilt, yeah? Here. And let's start with the ball of the foot, tilting very nicely in our, like inclination of the tilt the elbow. And then when we walk forward, feel that you have a combination of a feeling of depth, like your torso is reaching down to the ground and feeling of height with the heel being up and the butt being up. And you can land your front heel like you do naturally in the room or you can stay now on your toes. Wap change. And now when you go your syncopation thing, uh, do it again, slightly, ah, relax for us, how do we call it? Two, three, when you will be collecting, don't neutralize. You still can collect with the tilt and go out of it by stressing the upper part less and do it a little more here. Two, three, and four. Yes, yes, Deborah did nicely. <sighs> My ankle's killing me too, so I think we're all doing good here. We're challenging some weaker areas. And we're ready to do it with the normal heel placement. But the idea of having the discipline up on a cross step, on a spiral, should be something um, edging. You just did a little bit of a similar mistake. Don't let your heel flip inward. So you're stepping across into a spiral, Keep pressing the inside heel forward. Keep it pressing forward, yes. And now get your weight over. 
and, and, and start pivoting, but don't give up this thing. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Yes, that's beautiful. It will be turning at some point, but not before your body. Let's call it like this. So if I'm landed, now, yes, of course it will turn, but you can see that first I'm going more with my body. And then what I cannot do anymore, I'm following with my ankle. Yeah, it's like a hard thing to explain. Like I noticed even like when I explain to my students, it's like, at first turning, but it's not turning, it's always relative to like yeah. your own body. Absolutely. So let's let's you know jam, let's get you exactly, exactly. So let's do it again. I'll I'll, I'll have a uh a second. So just just yeah, the size, but make it a little diagonal. So step like this. So you can see Jennifer's heel is here, and I'm holding it, I'm not letting it turn. But now I'll give your invitation to go turn with your body and then follow and pivot. Yes? Feel it? So, so let, let's do one more time. Yes. Now let's give it a little thing. So, Marco, can you please hold Jennifer's shoulder? And now you'll be resisting a little bit. So, stay. Use the stability of your ankle to press against my up. Yeah? Look. Rotate your shoulders around your spine. You still please look at our uh, whatever in the corner. Still look at the corner. Use this to turn your torso and now boom, turn your hips. So using foundation to, to develop movement uh, in your torso. Yeah, even we'll be moving, it's okay, but stable uh, reference point is better for this development. So let's do it one more time, landing, holding it in place. Developing your shoulders and then you go. Think. Well done. Jean, you got it? Yeah? Okay. Ready. From beginning, please. Normal version with the heels on the ground. Ready. Two and three. Oh, my bad is uh, point one, forward on two. And four and one and two and three and four. And one and two, three. Yeah, so then just one more back step up the check, two, three, back, and then quick check. Ready? Uh -huh. Ready? Four and one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. Yes, yes, yes. Bonnie, I'm, I'm with you, don't worry. Secondary change is very good. Three, four, and then you keep pushing yourself into the turn. Two, three, and four. It's okay, it's okay. So step forward, three, four, one, diagonal to the left, ball of the foot, feet together, step over the right. And very good. Ready. Mm. With me and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Very good. He broke two and three. Step across one spot and two. Flip and change for good. Very nice. And two ronde beautifully. Stepping forward, spiral, double turn, wonderful. Yes. I, I can only compliment you. My, give me just a second. I'll check here on Marco and Jennifer, and I'll give you just one more little hint to what we'll be doing. Just take a rest. I know your ankles might be pretty tired. Yeah? Ready? And four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two, three and four. Very nice. Keep rocks, step across and two, three and four. One, two, three, four. One, 
two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord's about to get around. Okay, okay. Yeah. But the, the ankles showing a little more tension, a little, uh, a little more precise design. You can do it here and do it with your baby. When you spiral and two, zoom. Uh, so feel the ability to, yes, to put your feet like this. And take you know, and so this is where the work needs to be done. And straight leg, straight, straight. You can have it straight and turn out. Yes. So this is how you sucking this in a deeper turn out more. Yes. And collection and change, changing left, right. Yes. Yeah, so it's here. Okay. So Margaret, what I'm saying now is related to you and to everyone else. I want that this um, moment be like, we usually talking through the foot articulation and we pronouncing ball flat, ball flat. And if we um, assuming that the spiral effort is present at the whole time. So again, a little mechanic here, the spiral effort is present. So between me saying ball and me saying flat, ball flat, there have to be certain development. So let's call it like this, ball flat. So between, I know it's it's a little more in the image uh, in your third now, but trust me, it can be done. Um, it can be physically experienced. That once you placing between touching the floor with the ball of the foot, and touching the floor with the heel, you have a developing spiral inside your leg. So it's not just being done and, and placing. So the moment when you're touching ball and then you're locking into flat, ball flat, you want to feel that the spiral energy is in action or in motion. It is not something frozen and uh, a place it's inserted kind of yeah imagine uh, um, <laughs> no I, was just, I just like thought of you know this movie stranger things yes i just watched it and they're like yes. climbing up the like stairs they're like legs they're never just like they're like Okay. Like okay. I, I haven't remember this, but <laughs> I, I was thinking of something like we, we don't really go into the shoes like this, but think of a of a surgeon who who offered an apron and he's putting himself into apron or like in this uh, robe or like in the sci-fi movies when they are doing some some procedures in a in a um, sealed environment. So think of entering something, saying your foot, entering in a particular shape you envision for it. Um, so what do we do with this thing? I don't know. We'll try to feel that placement, so toe, ball, and then when you landing, I want you to feel a degree of resistance between touching your ball and touching your heel and in this resistance, you're recognizing just, uh, if you look at a tiny additional effort of sealing the, the spiral lock. And uh, ready for one ball flat. Now ball flat. Now ball and thinking of spiral flat. Now, when you will be doing here, here, even here, let's do ball on the right foot. And when you will be straight into flat, you will just add a little more spiral. And when you're placing ball flat, I hear not much. I think this one is already in the same position. Three, but this one for sure. When you will be doing ball, and when you go flat, just get your heel a little further forward. 
Ball, flat, heel further forward. Flat, good. Now, ball. And when we say flat, heel further forward. Flat, nice. Three, ball. And here, ball, flat, heel further forward. Thank you, Deborah. Yes. And he broke here. We don't really do more forward. It's just a, a, a flat position. We don't do a forward step. Two, three, ready, placing ball. We're saying flat, heel a little further forward. Spot turn, thing the same, ball. But when you say heel a little more forward, three, and four. Here it's a side. Feeling so we don't do more. Ready. I think I noticed the difference. Did you feel a little extra effort there? Good, good. Let's do it. Yeah, so we will do a little bit sometimes, even though for you maybe not any little thing of that rotation, but also the, the importance of the error. Think also like when you need to hook something like some type of you need to reach the hook. So that your hook is on the floor, and when you reach it, so you feel it like get connected, so you don't stop halfway. You need to walk with the floor, and ready together. And four and one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, one and two. Three and four, one, two, three and four, two, three and four, collecting, collecting, four, four, five. Yep. Okay. Ready. Checking on my beauties. <laughs> And uh, left leg on the side, ready? Four and one and two and three and back. Step and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and step. Across, spot, turn, three and four. Okay, continue, collecting, ronde, passing, stepping forward, controlling your wind up. Yes, 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 Bonnie, you can do it. Okay, single is good too. Um, uh, Bendy, please find some mobilization to pivot on the foot when needed. Uh, so when you're preparing the frame, you want to activate your core and your glute to actually change the direction of your foot. Uh, so I see some places a little struggle and a little afraid on your knees because the moment when you need to mobilize your foot and do pivoting, you're trying to step across, but it's like, uh, What I will compare it to. Uh, I don't know, just think of a of a of a fire hose. Are they just opening the water and then like spraying everybody around and they pointing at the house? They like like I know, or like a cannon or tank. There is an aiming first, then putting the gun and like the and shooting. So when you're not pivoting, you're just messing around. Be sure that you're standing like this. Yes, very nice. Uh, baby, don't cancel bending and elevation because you do the spirals and ins. So at every passing, I want to see your ankle exactly the shoe size above the floor. Not anything halfway, but all the way there. Um, 
Boni, if I would uh, ask to give me a little more look up, presentation of a spiral higher in your hips and in your core. So when you want to do better, you, you try to find some, some challenge on leading one part around while other try to stay open. So it's not just down under the knees, but it's also um, active. Uh, yeah, so now if you... Good, so let's say if we do a kukaracha, two, three, and now you will need to step to the right, how your right hip is spiraling down, you can, yes, so let the hip and like a little further curve before placing the foot. Yes, 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 yes. So just a little more continuity here, yeah? Ah. Uh, Suzanne, I think that you doing nicely. I would like to um, have less doubt on straightening. So I think the passing and the spiral feeling you have well, but it make your placement a little bit careful and casual. So I think that the spiral is not preventing you from making a clear decision when to straighten your leg. Ta -ta. That's it, yes. We good? We ready to do one last time? Ready. Uh, Jean, Jean, what you doing there? Uh, so far, you, you didn't put any stress on my eyes. So just do one more time the same. <laughs> I think you have a nice discipline of this. Um, no, I do have a comment for you. Um, when we was doing the version on the toes, Maybe you can remember a little stronger mobilization within your hip joint and glute. So when we don't want to drop the heels, we kind of just get a little more toned and any landing need to be additionally protected from not dropping down. So now try to think of the same idea that every time when you want to settle, you try to remember the feeling of being on the ball of the foot, that there have to be a little more articulated sense of height through your leg. Mm -hmm. It looks that sometimes you're getting a little bit, so, a little too melty uh, in your in your hips. Ready? Okay, you're going once through your through your comments, and I check uh, guys here, and then you will have your final push. Four and one and two and three and four, one and two and yeah, one more time. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Two and four and one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, one and two, three and four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Collecting my little brush. You have much more time. Yes. Uh, so overall, Mark, when you will be doing your last version, try to notice that the grip and shift of your spine should not be diminished because of the spiral uh, priority. You still get a little bit so spiral and give a further extension. I don't want to look like that. Two, like three, and four. So when I do the style of making the pelvis, I'm directing my pelvis further in space. Two, three, four, two, three. When I do the style, I'm thinking of channeling through my pelvis there, channeling it through my pelvis. One, it all can have just a little more flow. Yeah. And gentle. when we work on it, it's normal to feel some tightness. But generally, you don't want to over resist. So, yes, there is an in work movement and some outside. But you don't want to feel so tight that you're just shaking. So, there has to be a sense of 
with all the beautiful alignment which done through counter forces. There is also expected look of ease, like you just floating through. And this is through, through, so, so many things. Try at the moment, <laughs> like, okay, the whole, whole like list of things. Don't over tighten, feel that one leg which carries you might work a little harder than one which moves. It have a shape, but it need to have a certain softness to be able to be moved, yeah? And your last version, the best one of the day. And four and one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, one he broke two and three and four across spot and two, three and four. Present your uh, legs nicely. Yes, forward step, spiral, wee wee, nicely done. Yep. Now, I wouldn't say that it was like ideal, but it was a very nice uh, presentation of your legs. I would like this discipline or this attention uh, to be layered all over your routines. So it doesn't matter are you turning left or right, the way how you plugging yourself into this, like a spiral lock that it's uh, not changing and stays with you as a, as a discipline and the, and the skill, a skill of showing off uh, the beautiful line, the kind of articulation, but also a, a fundamental stabilization through this. Let's take a little break and we'll continue with Samba in just a few minutes.